I'm Linda and welcome to Biceps and Triceps Strength. For today's workout, all you will need is some dumbbells. I've got two sets, a lighter set, 1.5 kilos, which is just over three pounds, and I've got 3.5 kilos, which is just over eight pounds. Then I've also got a Pilates resistance band, so if you can grab one that hasn't got handles and is just really soft like this, it'll help us to transition more quickly. So if you only have one with handles, you can still do it, but I prefer to use this one because the handle sometimes can get in the way and hurt. We're not going to do a designated warm-up as such, but the first exercise is going to be with the lighter weights and it's going to wake up all of those biceps and triceps. So if you need more of a warm-up, press pause and come back to it. So I'm starting off with my light weights and I want you to stand in a really nice upright position. This is all about the upper body today with a few lunges here and there, but the main focus is to keep your shoulders down and back to pull your tummy in and keep your neck nice and relaxed the entire time. We're starting off with both weights in one hand. We're going to do a biceps curl, so I want your hand close to your body with your palm facing outwards. We're going to come up, we're gonna push overhead, hold on to both weights, triceps extensions with your elbows by your ear, then switch to the other hand, come down, down, back up, overhead, triceps, switch to the other hand, okay? Now, if you want to do this with your heavier weight, just one weight, you can do that. I'm just waking everything up with my light weights. So I'm really concentrating on form here, keeping my elbow in close by my side. So here it's pinned to my side and really extending long. And as I'm coming into that triceps, extension, I'm coming all the way and touching the head of the weight to my upper back, okay? So really extend down low, down and down. You'll be getting a bit of shoulder work here as well, which is always a good thing, multitasking. Make sure you breathe through this entire workout. And if I ever go too fast, just slow it down. We're gonna do a few more like this, and then we're gonna start doing a bit of a pyramid. So we're gonna do two of each move before we move on. Then we're gonna go up to four, then up to eight, back to four, and then back down to two, okay? So let's do four more singles. This is one, up, back. This is two, tummies are in, back is flat. This is three, all the way, and this is four. Okay, so now starting here, we're doing two. One, two, overhead, it's one, two. Switch sides, it's one, two. It's overhead, it's one, two. Now we're going to four, it's one, two, three, four. It's overhead, it's one, two, three, four. It's down to this side, one, two, three, four. So we're always getting double extensions for the triceps. Three and four. Now it's down to eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Are you starting to feel this yet? It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, squeeze those triceps. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's back to triceps for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now we're down to fours again. Four, three, two, one. Up overhead for four, three, two, one. To this side for four, three, two, one. Overhead again for four, three, two, one. And down for two, last set, two. Overhead for two, other side for two, and last time for two. So we're all nice and warm now. So we're going to grab our heavier weights 
and we're going to start off with a single, single double with our bicep curl. So again, same principle, regular bicep curl, shoulders are down and back, nice relaxed stance. It's single, single, double, double. Now start with the other hand, single, single, double, double. So you're always starting with the opposite hand, double, double, and you're not swinging your body, okay? You're really just pinning those arms in by your waist and you're not swinging at all. It's all the bicep, double, double. Are you starting to feel that now? You thought it wasn't gonna hurt, but believe me, by the end of this workout, your biceps and your triceps will feel fully worked. Single, single, double, double, a few more like this, and then we're gonna switch down to our lighter weights and the band, okay? So it's gonna be a quick transition. We're gonna step on the band with one foot and keep our light weights wrapped around that band. So go for three more sets. Single, double, double. This is two. All the way up, fast pace, last set. So you can see now why I didn't go super heavy with my heavier weights. Quick transition, grab your band, stand in the middle with one foot, bunch it up and grab your weights, okay? So you're gonna have to gauge your, your tension here. You might need to adjust. So what we're doing is once again, single, single, double, double, other side. Single, single, double, double. Okay, so this band is actually making these weights feel a lot heavier than they are. So we're not gonna be able to do heaps and heaps of these. This is a drop set, four more sets. Single, don't swing. This is three, double, double. This is two, deep breaths. And this is one, double, double. Drop your light weights, hold on to your band. Same thing, in by your side. Single, single, double, double, other hand. You've got more of a hammer grip now. Single, single, double, double. Are you feeling this? You should really be feeling that bicep muscle just pumped, full of blood. We're really working it. These drop sets are no joke. Single, single, never release the tension. See how I've always got tension on my band? Yes, always choke up if you're not feeling it. Keep your elbows in by your side, double, double. Five more sets, double, double. This is four, double, double. Three, double, double. Two, all the way up. Keep breathing and last one, double, double. Okay, now we're moving on to triceps. Stretch that out for a second. Wow, really, really felt that. We're going back to a heavier set of weights and we're going to do bent over triceps extensions, okay? So I want you to hinge at the waist, let your arms drop, keep your back really flat, bring your arms up so that your elbows are past your waist and look, my arms are in by my side. We're gonna start with single, single, double, Double, other hand first, single, single, double, double. Once you've got it, look down at your mat and just focus on form. I want you to focus on squeezing your triceps at the top of your arm each time. If the pace is too fast, slow it down. Keep soft knees here, double, double. If it's confusing changing which hand you start with each time, then don't worry about doing that. Just always start with the right or the left. It doesn't so much matter. Keep going. Double, double. This is already feeling heavy. Triceps are a smaller muscle group than biceps, so we won't be able to do as many with these weights. Go for two more sets. Double, double. 
Last set, then quick transition to pick up the band and the light weights. Okay, safely put it down. Quick transition. Step on the band with one foot. Grab your weights. Now make sure that you've got enough band because you have to go all the way behind, okay? So it's up. It's single, single, double, double. Remember your arms are in close by your side. It's only your bottom portion of the arm that's moving. Your top portion of the arm is pinned against your rib cage, okay? And you're keeping your elbows as high as you possibly can. Extend out. So it's single, single, double, double, single, single, double, double. Not many more, I know it's burning. Double, double, single, single, double, double. How about four more sets? Deep breaths. This is three, double, double, this is two, Double, double, and one. Double, double. Drop the weights. Keep your band, choke up. Grab it so that it's inside your hands like this. And we're just gonna go up with straight arms, okay? We're not gonna do that single, single, double. Just pulses, arms by your side, and just pulse up. Back is flat. Tummies in, shoulders are relaxed. Wow, <laughs> this burns so bad, but it's okay, we can do this. Come on, a few more. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Oh, <gasps> stretch that across. Shoulders would have felt that too. Back to biceps. Okay, we're starting. With our heavier weights, we just need one. We're coming into a side lunge position. So just a nice wide stand, so there's a bit of a stretch in this leg, and you can just lean your other hand on top of that leg, but not on the knee, just above it. Pick up your weight. We're hinged forward slightly. See how my back is flat? Hinged forward slightly. We're gonna bring it across the body, then to the same side, then push out across, longer lever, and push out in front. Again, it's across, it's same, it's push, it's like a crescent. So as you push out, your arm is slightly bent, but it's longer than as you come up. And side, and push, and push, tummies in, up, side, all the way, and in front, side, and push. Keep breathing through this. Push it out. It's all the way across. Try to touch your shoulders each time. So touch here, touch here, push, push. Touch here, touch here, push, push. Okay, two more and then we're doing a pyramid. Push, push, last one, side, push, Push, okay, shake out your arm. We're gonna go from two, four, eight, four, two, okay? So we're starting off with two of each move, ready? One, two, in front, one, two, push to the side, one, two, push to the front, one, two, now four, one, two, three, four, in front, one, two, three, Four, push it out. One, two, three, four in front. One, two, three, four. This is the hardest one. Eight, seven, six, five. Slow it down if you have to. Three, two, one. Don't swing your arm. Two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, push it across. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and directly in front. Two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight. Back to four, three, two, one. In front, it's four, three, two, one. Push across, it's four, three, two, one. And in front, it's four, three, two, one. Last set of two. One, two, one, two, one, and two, one. Awesome job. Put that down safely. Grab just your band. And we're just going to step on that and only grab it in the one hand. Nice and tight, same position. And we're going to just push across and front with our arm slightly bent. Okay, so it's a slight bend like we did with those push across and we're just changing from side to side. I've got my band through my second and third finger in between because I find that's an easier way of holding it so that it's at the right angle. Push, push. The key is to keep your arm quite straight here with just a little bend. Shoulders and biceps here. Push, push. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, other side. Relax that, and we're doing exactly the same thing. So nice wide stance. Remember, your back is flat. Don't round or arch your back. Your hand is supporting above the knee. You're letting that hang and pulling your shoulder back into place. Hold your tummy in to support your back. Stick your glutes out. It's across. It's same. It's push and push. Across. Same side. Push, push. This is not fast. I want you to squeeze. Push, push. Your weight is in the heel of this supporting leg, okay? So you should be able to lift your toes. Across. Touch your shoulder each time with that dumbbell and push across, same, push, push. Don't swing your arms. You need to control it out and in. It's a push-pull action, okay? Don't just drop them. This is supposed to be a heavier weight, so you have to control it with every muscle fiber in that arm. Push. Push three more sets and then we're going to the pyramid. Push and push, relax your neck. Push and push, this is the last set. Push and push, relax for a second. So remember, tummy's in, hinge at the hips, everything nice and loose and then roll your shoulder back into place so your neck is long, okay, you're not hunching. We're going for twos first, across, one, two, same side, one, two, push across, one, two, push out, one, two. Now go for four, three, two, one, same side, one, two, three, four, it's push, two, three, four, and in front, two, three, four. Now we're going for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Same side, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Push across, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and in front. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Deep breaths for four, three, two, one. Same side for four. Three, two, one, across for four, three, two, one, and in front, eight, 
three, two, one, and in front for four, three, two, one, last one, one and two, straight, it's one and two, push out, it's one and two, in front, it's one and two, safely drop that, grab your band, we're just standing on it with one side, grip it in such a way that you're able to put it through your two fingers and as you pull up with a slightly bent arm, up and up, you feel that in your bicep. See how there's always tension on that band? It's quick, side to side, across and out. Keeping that arm long, but with that micro bend. Constantly engaging that bicep muscle. Across, across. Feeling that shoulder burning too? Eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one. Wow. Okay. Just stretch that out for a second. And we're going back to triceps. So starting with our heavier weight again. We're just going to stand in a nice, relaxed stance with soft knees. We're going to bring our arm up. If you want to support your arm, if your weight is too heavy, you can do that. Otherwise, just make sure your hand is close by your ear. We're going to come across the head, so it's down to the opposite shoulder. Squeeze up, turn it, down to the back, up. It's across, up, turn it back, up. So palm to the front, palm to the side. All the way down, all the way up. Focus on form here. Your back is nice and flat and you're squeezing up. So this is functional because you're rotating through that shoulder as well. We're not doing that many more. Then we're going to drop to the lighter weights and do our pyramid. Down and up four sets. It's one and back. Three, back. Two, back, last one, and up. Carefully bring that down. Grab your lighter weight. Same thing. We're going to do a pyramid eight, starting with eight. Eight, four, two, four, eight. Okay, so this is harder. Keep it by your ear. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Twisted. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Slow it down if you have to. One, two, three, four. Twist it. One, two, three, four. Just for two. One, just for two. One, back to four. Three, two, one, four. Three, two, one. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. It's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Quickly step on your band with one foot and let your band come behind so that you can grab it and pull up, okay? So just grab it. Quite choked up and up. Fast. Fast. Arm is by the ear. Ah, oh, really feeling this. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now quickly step on it with the other foot and we're doing those across body. Fast. Pull up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. One, wow, that really hurt a lot. If you didn't feel that, you need a tighter band, you need heavier weights, you need to do something because I felt that. Okay, clean up your mess, heavy weight other side. So stand in that nice upright position, 
your shoulders are down and back, your arm is up by bicep to ear. Then twist your palm to the front and it's down to the opposite shoulder and up, rotate, back and up, down and up. You're squeezing the back of your arm each time. Remember I said, if you can't do this without really moving around too much in that shoulder, then either lighter weights or support your arm like this. Okay, that'll help. Support it with the other arm. A few more sets and then we're moving to the lighter weight and doing that pyramid. Let's go for four and back. Three, back, two, back, last one, and back. Safely put it down. Grab your lighter weight. Nice, relaxed stance, and same thing. We're starting with eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Turn it eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Turn it for four, three, two, one. Turn it for three, two, one. Just two, one. Squeeze your arm, two, one. Back to four, three, two, one. Four, three, two, one. One now, last set of eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and to the back for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Quickly grab your band, step on it, bunch it so you can grab it from behind. Arm by your head and quick ones up. Up, up, by your ear, up, up, up. Keep going, keep breathing. If you don't feel this, bunch it up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Down, step on it with the opposite foot. Arm across and up, up, up. Hammering to the ceiling. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Stretch that out and we're going back to biceps. Deep breaths in, stretch your shoulder across. And we're going back to our heavy weights for biceps. So carefully grab your heavy weights, come into a nice relaxed stance with soft knees, shoulders are down and back. We're starting in a hammer curl, so palms are facing each other. We're going to come up to 90, push out, then we're gonna rotate, come down into a wide curl, push out, rotate to the front, hammer curl, are you doing this with me? Push out, rotate to the side, wide curl, push out, rotate to the front, hammer curl, touch your thighs, push out. Rotate to the side, wide down, push out. To the front, hammer, push out. It's slow and controlled. All the way down, touching your thighs each time. If you can't come all the way down, just come to your level. And if you can't push out all the way like this, then just come to a smaller push. In fact, if you don't want to, you don't have to do the push at all. Just go to your level or even drop it down to your lighter weights. Center, hammer, push. Rotate, wide, push. Are you feeling this yet? Hammer, push, rotate, wide, push. Center, hammer, push, rotate, wide, push. One more set. And then we're switching down to our lighter weights. Down, push. Okay, place that down. Grab just your lighter weights. We're gonna come to the waist 
and we're going to push, rotate, push, rotate, push, rotate, push. In by your sides. Each time, push out, lengthen out, but don't ever come to a fully straight arm. It's always a micro bend in that arm. I want you to squeeze the life out of those dumbbells. These are lighter weights, so we need to squeeze it. We're gonna do a pyramid. Three more of these, two more. Last one, come to the front, push for two. One, two, rotate, one, two, rotate, four, three, two, one, rotate, four, three, two, one, rotate, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, rotate, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, rotate, four, three, two, one, rotate, four, three, two, one, rotate, two, one, rotate, two, one. Awesome job. Drop that, grab your band, stand in the middle of your band, grab it in a hammer grip, come to your waist. You really need to choke up here, otherwise you're not going to feel this. We're going to put our palms up to the ceiling, rotate, push, rotate, push, rotate, push, rotate, push. Your palms are up, palms are up, rotate, push, rotate, push, belly's in, shoulders are down, push, really burning, push, rotate, push, go for five, four, three, two, one, shake it, one last little bit, semi straight arms, tiny micro bend, hammer, push up, 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 push up, shoulders and biceps. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Stretch behind. Stretch in front. We're back to triceps. We're going to come down. We're going to start with one of our weights. We're doing a tricep push-up to a plank tricep extension to a side plank to a upwards extension, okay? So just watch me. So this arm is going to be in close to your ribcage. The other arm is going to be further in front. You're going to scoot your hips under. You're going to come down into a triceps push-up. You're going to come up on your toes. Row, extend. Row, down. Rotate, arm up. One, two, three, four. Row down. Do it with me. Knees or toes for that triceps push up. Definitely toes for the extension. One, and down. Rotate, arm up safely. One, two, three, Four, rotate down. Do you want to try it on your toes? Toes, row, extend, in, down. Rotate, arm up, one, two, three, four. This needs to be slow and controlled, okay? Down, up, row, extend, in and down. Then rotate, then arm up, one, two, three, Four, safely down, it's down, it's up, it's row, extend, and down, it's rotate, it's one, two, three, four, it's come down, we're doing two more sets, down and up, up, extend, safely down, rotate, one, two, three, four, and down. This is the last one on this side. Down and up, up, extend, down, rotate, 
One, two, three, four. Safely down. Grab your band. Place it under the bottom arm. If you want to, you can do this in a side plank with your leg down. If you want to advance it, come into that side plank like we just did, and we're just doing those ups. So choke up. We're just doing three sets of eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come down. Once again, you can do this in a kneeling plank or you can do it on your toes. You choose. We're going to ex do extensions, three sets of eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Back. Deep breath. Ready for the other side? Now you know what to expect. So choose your level. Okay. Come up on your toes or do it on your knees. Remember your alignment needs to be really perfect here. You need your arm close, skimming the side of your body. The other hand is slightly in front. They're in narrow. It's down, it's up, it's on your toes. It's row, extend, in and down. It's rotate, it's one, two, three, four. So extend your tricep up. It's down, it's up. It's row, extend, back down. You're holding everything in. One, two, three, four. If this is too hard with your heavy weights, then do it with your lighter ones. It's row, extend. You need to hold your tummy in to really protect your back here. Two, three, four. It's down, it's up. It's row, extend. It's rotate. It's one, two, three, four. You survive the other side. Go to your knees if you can't do the full push up. It's up, extend, and down. It's one, two, three, four. Come on, you can do this. Go to your knees. Down, up. Try to do this one on your toes. If you can't, do it on your knees. Rotate. You can even go that on your knees. Two, three, four. We're doing two more sets. It's down, it's up. It's row, extend, down. So here you can drop to your knees. One, two, three, four. Last set. It's down, it's push up. You can do this on your knees. Row, and then turn. One, two, three, four. Awesome job, put it down safely. We're gonna grab the band, come back into that side plank. You choose your level. If you don't wanna do it with staggered feet or feet together, then you choose it. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come down. Once again, in plank, triceps extensions. Three sets of eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come down, child's pose. Deep breath in. Okay, we've got one last grouping. One last grouping. Then we're done. We're gonna grab our light weights. This one is almost like an easy walk in the park. Come back up. We're going to bring our arms up so your elbows are in line with your shoulders. Come out, come in, rotate, out, and in. So it's a rotation 
as you come from triceps to biceps, okay? So this is bicep here. Squeeze the back of the arm here. Squeeze your biceps and your triceps, slow and controlled. Tummies in, knees are soft. You're pushing your shoulders down and back. It's out. Long levers, long levers, okay? And out, out, and out. You know we're gonna to have to do a pyramid, don't you? Go for three, and out, two, out, last one, out. So we're gonna go two, four, eight, four, two. Last thing, two of each. Deep breath in, shoulders down and back, up. It's out for two, one, two, turn it, one, two, turn it, four, three, two, one, turn it, four, three, two, one, turn it, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, turn it, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, turn it, four, three, two, one, turn it, four, three, two, one, turn it, two, one, turn it, two, one, and that is it. You are done. Oh, we get to stretch, come down into a cross-legged position. Just stretch that arm across. Ah, oh, shoulders really felt that too. That's inevitable. Anytime that you work arms, generally, you will use your shoulders as well. Now come in front and push your shoulder blades apart. My arm's actually shaking a bit. That's a good thing. And then interlace behind. Ah, oh, and push up with straight arms. Feels great. You can grab your band. That will help us stretch. Just fold it in half, bunch up the ends. And then just stretch over to the side, keeping your arms relatively straight here. And then lean over to the other side. And then just come down on an angle and in front. And again to the other side, stretching through the spine as well. And then up and around and just stretch behind. So pull your arms back. That feels good. Over to the side. Over to the side. And for the triceps, put the band behind you and grab onto it and use it to pull that hand down. So you're really feeling that tricep stretch. And then just switch your arm, so put this one by your ear and pull down on the band behind. And then just drop the band and come into a child's pose position. And I want you to bring your arm underneath you. Just open your knees and let the weight of your body push that arm to the mat. Keep your chest lined up central. And then arm out to the side and push the shoulder down, stretching, stretching all throughout that arm. And other arm across, lengthening. And out to the side. Press your palm and your entire arm 
into the mat and then push up, almost pushing up to increase that stretch. And then put your palms down and just straighten your arms. So we're stretching the front of our arms. And then other way, very gently stretching our forearms. When you work bicep, you always work a bit of forearm. So stretch that out. And then just a few wrist rotations, a few heads side to side. Rotate those shoulders and to the front. And that is it. You've completed my bicep and tricep strength workout. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you at the next segment.